Hi, this is Dr. Vanati, consultant cosmetic dermatologist. I am trying to explain pathogenesis of psoriasis for students. Psoriasis, the characterization is affected. Usually, from the stratum basal, the cells move to stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, and stratum corneum and gradually shed off from the body. This is known as keratinization. Usually 20% of the stratum basal cells go in for the process of keratinization. In psoriasis, instead of 20%, 100% cells trying to differentiate and go in for keratinization. In psoriasis, stress, drugs, trauma, smoking or microorganisms can induce the immune response. Normally, there will be a good barrier function of skin which gets compromised in psoriasis and it leads on to the activation of the immune system. The dendritic and macrophage cells are activated and they secrete the interleukin 23 which causes the tumor uh, TH17 cells to produce interleukin 17 and interleukin 22. Interleukin 6 and TGF beta can convert naive T cells into TH17 cells. When the interleukin 17, it increases the pro-inflammatory cytokines such as S100, A7, beta defensins and lipocalin. Interleukin 17 also promotes the keratinocytes to produce the chemokines such as CCL20, CCL, CXL8 which attracts neutrophils to the site of inflammation. TH17 cells also secrete the interleukin 22 which causes the epidermal acanthosis and abnormal keratinocyte differentiation. Interleukin 17 A and F makes the keratinocyte secrete more antimicrobial peptides such as beta defensins and cathelicidins. Beta defensins increase the intensity of the inflammatory response to minor stimuli. Catholicidins LL37 bind to the extracellular self-DNA released from the dying cells and convert the self-DNA as a potent stimulus for the plasmacytoid dendritic cells which in turn secretes the type 1 interferons and trigger auto-inflammatory cascade. Interleukin 6 is increased in psoriasis which suppresses the T-regulatory cells that lead on to the un opposed activity of this pathogenic T cells. Deletions of the LCE gene cluster 3B3C is also noted in psoriatic patients that lead on to the incomplete barrier repair after minor trauma. Then the various antigens can penetrate easily and inflammatory responses continue. The abnormal keratinization seen in psoriasis in which there will be Expression early differentiation markers such as corneodesmosin, small protein rich pro, proline rich proteins, cystatin A, and transglutaminase 1 are overexpressed, and late differentiation markers such as loricrine filagrin are down expressed. This defective barrier causes increased trans epidermal water loss. That's why there is a dry skin in psoriasis. Aquaporins, a family of water transporting proteins is decreased in lesional and perilesional skin of psoriasis. Aquaporin is important in the entry of water into the cells because it is down regulated. Maybe the cell hydration is also decreased. Thus, the microbial or mechanical injury damage leads on to the activation of the antigen presenting cells such as macrophages and dermal dendritic cells and failure to maintain the skin barrier because of the deletion of late cornified envelope protein 3C 3B lead on to the continuous exposure of such antigens. Interaction of the antigen presenting cells and T cells and TH1 cells and TH17 cells lead on to secretion of interleukin 1722 further perpetuates the keratinocyte injury and this cycle continues. Finally, angiogenic factors secreted by the keratinocytes plays a role in the
abnormal dermal vascular proliferation and angiogenesis levels of vascular endothelial growth factor rise in psoriatic plaques like the video share the video sr will be massively appreciated